Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for something we can 3D print. So let's get cracking. Friends, I've had some ladies building these awesome little 3D printed figures, and I'm going to run you through the steps so you can build anything you want as well. So let's start with an adorable little dinosaur. Bring out a cube, and I always keep these prints small, so that way they print in less than an hour. We're going to take his measurements and make him 30, make him 20 wide, and let's make him 15 high. This will be the general belly size, and then I want you to take the radius, and I want you to type 5 and press enter. You'll notice that it's pretty rounded then, and that's kind of fun for the bodies that we're going to make. So we're going to raise it up for legs. I'm going to raise it up crazy high, but then I'm going to type 12 for how high I really want it to be. Real quickly, let's add a leg with a cylinder. The trick I want you to use is shift shrink, and we're going to type the number 6. That makes it a good size for a leg. Let's make the leg round by typing 64, and let's give it a bevel of 1 and make the segments 10. This rounds it so it's a little bit nicer for that edge. And then of course we need to make it more than 12. We're gonna make it 13 so it actually sticks in. Let's change this bevel to two instead and see how that looks. I like that. All right friends, so now let's bring out some toes with the half sphere. I want you to hold shift and shrink that down and I want you to type the number two. We need to zoom in on it and I'm gonna use the letter F or fit view to zoom in and we need to make it two millimeters thick. Let's bring this toe over and then I'm gonna do the shift select. So I'm holding shift and I'm selecting the two parts. When I click a line, I want that to be in the middle of the orange one. So I click the orange one and then I choose middle. I wanna make sure that toe is pushed back in that far and then I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna move one to the right two clicks and I'm gonna do control D and move the other to the left about two clicks. These look a little cooler when you rotate them. When you rotate, you can just type 15 degrees. And if one is positive 15, the other rotation, I'm gonna move over and fit view so I can see that just a little better. This is my rotation handle. It would be negative 15 degrees. If you want those to be a little bit more, you can adjust them. You can also adjust with your nudge changing to a smaller nudge in a simple click. If you want a four-toed little beast or a five-toed little beast, you can adjust that as well. You can even add a back toe. Once you've got your leg the way you want, then I need you to grab it and I need you to group it. Since we're gonna 3D print this, you don't have to worry about colors. You can make them super colorful if you want, but it'll only print one color when you take it to the printer. Let's take our leg and do Control D. I'm going to nudge it a little. Remember, my nudge was small, so I'm going to switch it back to size 1. I'm going to get it to the other side-ish. I'm going to take those two legs, and I'm going to group them. And then what I can do is real quickly grab all of it and do a line, make the body the master. And when I hit that middle button, and I'll show you this from an angle so you can see it a little better, it's easy to line it up. We want those legs in the back as well, so we're gonna do Control D and move them back. You can see our dinosaur is connected now and those should print pretty darn sweet. We are gonna move to the featured shapes and we're gonna use this bent pipe to make a neck. The easiest way to get the neck where you want is to make sure you're looking at it from the right or the right-ish. This angle's good. Bring out your work plane and make sure it's flat on the side. Don't hit these angles get the flat side. Bring out the bent pipe from featured. And then we just need to change these measurements. I'm gonna tell you outer pipe sixth. I'm gonna do inner pipe two. Change the arc diameter to 20. We want the bend angle to be 60. And I'm gonna tell you five and five are great lead in and lead out. Make sure you press enter when you're done. So then all we need to do is rotate it 90 degrees and it is perfectly set to be the neck of our dinosaur. I'm gonna take these two pieces and put them in the right spot now. I'm gonna do shift click and grab the body. Let's do a line. And what we need to do is line it up with the middle. You can also do middle on the height, but then I'm gonna do control up to get it to the right height. And I'm gonna do the arrow to nudge it out to where I want the neck to be. 
we are going to use that same part for the tail so do control d move it to the back and then drop it to the ground level with the letter d we'll come back to that tail later and add the part that goes on to the end of it right now let's design our head we're going to go back to the basic shapes and i'm going to make a head with a sphere when you bring it out i want you to hold shift and i want you to squish it and type 9 and press enter then we want to change its length to 14 so the head sticks out you can see how that's going to fit pretty decent on the part that we made we just need to zoom in and add some cool eyes and a mouth once again fit view or the letter f bring out another sphere for the eyeball hold down shift and shrink and we're going to make this size three and press enter i'm going to make it a different color just so it's easier to see as we move and then I am going to just nudge it and control up nudge it until it's where I want my eye to be. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to put the other one on the other side. If I shift select those two eyes, I can group them. And then because they're a pair, now I can shift select those two parts. Notice it says two shapes. And if I hit a line, I can make sure they're perfectly in the middle. Now I already had them perfectly in the middle, but that was just dumb luck. I want to give my little dino a mouth and I'm going to do that with another sphere. Once again, bring it out and I'm going to shrink it. This time I'm going to make it size five, but this time I'm going to just squish it to a fun size I like. I like that. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to select those two parts and do a line. As always, pick your master. I'm going to do the master of the blue piece and then I'm going to bring this to the front and then I want to take that mouth and I want to raise it up. So notice I'm just clicking the mouth and I'm doing control up. And then I'm going to stretch this till it looks just the way I want it. If you want them to have a big mouth, you can do that. If you want them to have a small mouth, you can do that. You can tilt the angles however you need. I think that's going to look pretty sweet. And then I'm going to group these three parts. If you want to do something about like having a tooth, I'm gonna put a little tooth in mine real quick. Once again, I'm bringing out the cone. I'm doing shift shrink to make it tiny. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it where I want. If you wanna be more precise, you can just change your measurements. And I'm gonna do control up, fit view, which is here, or I could have done the letter F. And I'm gonna put that tiny little tooth inside, control D, and I'm gonna bring one to the other side as well. You do want to make sure it's not poking out, which mine was. So I'm going to go back one click that way. So now it's all inside there and looks pretty darn nifty. So everything I've given you is built to print upwards. So you should be able to print it successfully. If you tried to print a tooth up here, you will just get plastic that drips because there's nothing for the printer to build it off of. When we build printable parts, they always build from the bottom up. You may, if your head is not at the right angle, see drips of plastic under the chin. So we're actually going to fix that in just a second. I'm going to nudge these out so that I'm really happy. And then we're going to group this. And we're also going to change the angle of the head so that it prints a little bit better. So there I'm grabbing the part, grouping the part. And then I'm going to tell you that we want to rotate it about 15 degrees. So that way when he's looking up, as it prints up into here in these parts, they will be building off other pieces. Let's grab this and this and do a line. We want to hit the purple. I'm going to look at it from a corner so I can see that. And we want it to be here and we want it to be at the top. Now it's not quite high enough, so we just do control up and raise it till it's at the exact height. How do you like that dinosaur that as he prints his neck, you can see that the printer will start making his head. All right, friends, so the last part is the tail. Let's come back here, put the work plane on the tail, and let's finish with a paraboloid. When you bring this out, hold down shift and shrink it. The number that we need to type is six. This will match exactly to that part we had. I'm going to use my nudge to get it there because you won't be able to do these uh, with the align tool because of the shape of that tube. I'm going to use fit view to zoom in and make sure I'm right. That looks pretty darn awesome. You can see that that lines up just the way it's supposed to. And now you can stretch your tail out. 
Remember, I've got the rule that these need to be about seven centimeters max. So this will be just perfect. If I put the work plane down, let's count my centimeters. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It may have stretched out to eight, so I'm just gonna shrink this a little. And now I'm gonna select those two tail parts and I'm gonna group them. So then make sure you just nudge it so that your tail is attached to your dinosaur. Friends, that's how easy it was for these ladies to create their awesome dinosaurs. When you've got them done, you can hit group to make the final project. All right, friends, to print these in my room, there's a few things you need to do. Let's right now change the name. I'm gonna make mine dino with my name and I'm gonna put a three after it because I've made many of these. So that's step one. Step two is your settings need to be adjusted. You need to click the dots over here, choose settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, choose advanced, scroll down to where it says download location. You need to make it so that it asks before you save. Once you've got that setting changed, you need to have a special folder available called the STL folder. The best way to get that is to click on the folders at the bottom of your screen. On the left hand side, go down to this PC and I want you to find the folder called Shared, the folder called Harbor Lights, the folder called Projects, the folder called Student, and then finally the folder called Harmon. That's a whole lot of steps. Then I'm gonna click the name so we can find this STL. You right click on STL and you pin it to your quick access. This is what makes the projects all easy from here on out. Close that window and then take your design, notice it's one piece, and choose export and choose STL. Making sure that it has that correct name, open the quick access, which will be all the way at the top, find your STL folder and save it with that new name. If you ever make an adjustment, just put a letter A after it and boom, you have just saved it to where I can 3D print your object and you'll have something fantastic when you're done. All right, so we've made one dinosaur. Watch this though, you can make him into other dinosaurs and other critters. Let's start by ungrouping him, selecting him, doing control D. I'm gonna nudge him across. You'll notice I did switch my grid to one millimeter so that way it moves faster. And I'm gonna delete his square belly. That's the easiest belly cause it's flat. This time I'm gonna make a sphere belly. I'm gonna stretch it out I'm gonna squish it a little, and I'm gonna just lift it up so it's close to the right spot. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. I can select the body and select one of those feet, and I can do a line, and if I choose the feet as the master, it'll pop it right in the middle. And this is a decent spot as long as I stretch it out back to here. The only problem is, and I really want you to understand this, See how the belly is below the feet? When the printer was printing, this area would drip plastic. So we're gonna fix that with our own custom support. Bring out a cone and squish it, and I want you to type the number four for how big this little bottom piece is. Let's do shift select and choose a line. And we want it, and I'm gonna do this from an angle so you can see it better. Zoom back out, middle which we had, and we want it middle. Now I'm gonna spin around and we're just gonna raise this up so that it touches the belly. I'm gonna change the top radius to one millimeter so it's a little wider. And what this will do is it'll build this tower in the middle of your print so that the belly prints the way you expect it to. And when we're done, we just snap off this support. Now we don't wanna use a lot of these cause it wastes plastic, but it does make your print turn out better. Dinosaur, some sweet spikes. I'm gonna do it with a cone. I'm gonna just squeeze it so it's thin. I'm gonna go four millimeters and then I'm gonna also make it so it's shorter. And are you ready for this? Shift, select, align, make the blue one your master, set it at the back, set it at the top, and I'll look at it from a corner so you can see this better. Choose that middle. So you can see now I have got a little stegosaurus spike coming out. I'm gonna do control up to raise it up. And I'm gonna just nudge it across. I want to rotate it a few degrees. 
and I'm going to do control D, nudge its friend back, rotate it a few degrees, control D. I'm going to raise this one up with control up, rotate it a few degrees, control D, and you can just keep making this little dinosaur more and more awesome. That time I used the control that time I used the cone instead of control up, but you can see you can just play with this and make it look however you want as you make your own custom dinosaur. Make sure you grab those little rotation corners in the exact way you want as you make your sweet custom creation. Do a couple control ups, nudge that, control D, bring it back, and bam! <laughs> your dinosaur has now got a complete new look. I'm gonna grab this little fellow, select just him. I'm going to group him, and I'm gonna export him as my next dinosaur. Once again, I hit that STL button. It does take a minute for it to create it. Make sure you're patient, and then always slide up and find your STL folder, and this will be Dino MDH4. If you want a special color, you can type it out here. I want this one to be pink. If I've got the color, I'll do it. If not, I'll do whatever color I can find. I can't guarantee I have your colors, but at least that way it gives you a shot. Friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a better idea of how to design things that will work on a 3D printer. I also love that these are fun and fast, so we can experiment. If you find out you did something wrong, you can go back and create version two. Also, huge thanks to everybody installing TubeBuddy. That link is down below. There are so many features, even if you're just creating your own channel. It is a great place to start out. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.